so we saw that c is equal to nu lambda and c is equal to nu lambda we have also seen earlier that c is 1 upon root over mu naught epsilon naught is it not because that is equal to <coughs> mu is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and we know that 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 correct rather 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught correct so what is epsilon naught equal to epsilon naught is equal to 1 upon 4 pi into 9 into 10 to the power 9 okay so it is into 1 upon 4 pi into into <coughs> 9 into 10 to the power 9 ok now what is that equal to this is equal to this cancels and I get <coughs> 1 upon 10 to the power minus 7 of, of course root over into 10 to the power minus 9 into 1 upon 9 correct so this is 10 to the power minus 16 into 1 1 upon 9 now this 9 goes up and, and becomes 3 and this becomes 10 to the power minus 8 so that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 but this is for vacuum and this is obtained from the Maxwell's equation ok we are not currently in a position to solve the Maxwell's equation but if you go into vectors and solve it then you get the speed of the wave as this of the electromagnetic wave as this and this equals the speed of light right so so this is this is in vacuum so it is speed of light in vacuum speed of light in vacuum is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now if it is any other medium then you will use the use the permittivity and permeability of that medium okay so so if it is if it is any other medium then we use the epsilon equal to epsilon r into epsilon naught this you also call k in your second chapter this is also termed as k this is relative permittivity ok when, when we were doing capacitors this was called k and mu is equal to mu r mu naught ok this is <coughs> permittivity this is permeability ok this is relative permeability depends on what kind of material it is diamagnetic paramagnetic ferromagnetic correct <coughs> so 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 
so my uh, speed of light becomes 1 upon epsilon thank you very much mu into epsilon we get the point and you'll use this value okay And speed of light will be lesser than what it was in a <coughs> speed of light is will be lesser than what it is in the vacuum. Speed of light is the highest when it travels in vacuum. Okay, when it travels in vacuum. And by what, uh, like here, right now, and in space, what would be the factor by which it would be small? It depends on, on this. That is readily understood. It depends on what medium you are sending it through. Okay. It depends on the relative permeability of the permeability and permittivity of the medium you are traveling in. That's that's absolutely defined for all the media that you can think of. Okay. <coughs> now this this again we are stating without proof that the the magnitude the amplitude of the magnetic field and the electric field are related like this from maxwell's equation the magnitude of The, the amplitude, I should say, the amplitude of magnetic and electric fields are related <coughs> as are related as B naught is E naught upon C. <coughs> so B naught and E naught are related to each other. Okay. B naught is E naught by C. Now we come to some characteristics of <coughs> electromagnetic waves. We know we know that they are self sustaining. They are self sustaining sustaining oscillations of electric and magnetic field
magnetic fields that can propagate in vacuum now this was nothing like we had studied earlier okay we had studied about the longitudinal sound waves that were being propagated through air at least air was required we had seen the the transverse waves that were being propagated through say water okay or maybe through through a rope if you, if you give a jerk to the rope that we studied in class 11th this was for the first time that a wave was propagating without any medium okay and there was a solid proof for it why what was the proof the biggest proof was that sunlight. you are receiving the sunlight okay that is the biggest proof after it was proved that light is also an electromagnetic wave you you have the sunlight and 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 it travels through billions of kilometers through vacuum now this was something that kept on bothering the scientists of the time so much so that at one point of time what they did was they said that there cannot be an absolute vacuum in the universe and whole of the universe is dipped in a substance and they even named that substance as ether ether is not the same diethyl ether that you will be studying in organic chemistry or something like that this was this was some hypothetical kind of fluid in which the whole of the universe should be dipped in order for the electromagnetic waves to propagate you understand later it was found to be to be to be incorrect and and uh, i do not know if you if you study i um, um the uh, if you have study you must have arthur conan doyle okay so so he also wrote a whole theory regarding this in in a in a novel by the name the poison belt okay but later it was found that there is nothing like an ether and it is actually vacuum through which it can propagate and that was one of the landmark landmark things okay that was a landmark in our understanding that there is a wave that can travel with all its energy through the vacuum okay and 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 self sustains itself it, it carries through okay <clears throat> because because these 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 what happens these electric and magnetic fields we have seen one from the maxwells that a that a changing electric field is capable of creating a magnetic field another from faraday's law that a changing magnetic field is capable of creating an electric, electric field so 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 that so that that theory works and they they do not need anything else to to propagate so no medium at all fine <clears throat> when when the when we have the material medium that we have discussed here in presence of material medium in presence of material medium velocity of light becomes material medium velocity of light becomes 1 by root mu epsilon where mu is mu r mu not and epsilon is epsilon r epsilon not 
this we have already discussed. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll study that when we go into the wave optics that that they indeed have uh, uh, an oscillating electric field and that we can see when we are able to polarize that light. We we'll be able to polarize the light and by polarization we mean we allow only the vibrations in a particular particular line to propagate while I cut all other <coughs> all other uh, oscillations okay and and that becomes important that is very very important and and that gives a clear proof that that we have <coughs> we have that electric oscillations now what happens now what happens if you have an antenna you you have you seen an antenna no, you have not. Perhaps you have not. Earlier there used to be a Yagi Uda antenna, which was something like this. I am showing the top view. Okay. This used to be placed on the rooftop, pointing in the direction of the, of the TV tower. Okay, this was in 90s. Okay, and if you did not have or, or maybe a crow sits on it and the orientation changes, then a fellow will go to the rooftop and hmm, rest of the people will be shouting from within the home. Yes, okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. And that's how you used to secure it and you'll tie it and put bricks and whatever. I don't know why we did not put some mortar into it so that it gets jammed there. So, so this was a chaos every time, okay? And, 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 and this, this is like this, <clears throat> okay? It used to be horizontal. Now what we do in India, we, when, we, when we release our waves, we polarize it in this direction, horizontal direction. So what happens? It, it goes like that, hits the antenna and produces a current in this direction. Okay? In, in UK, the same antenna you will find like that. The same thing. Okay? Here, here it, it, this used to be like this. The, the bigger rod here, the smaller, the smaller, the smaller. And in UK, you will find, find it placed like that. Why? Because they somehow vertically, vertically polarize their waves. We, we release it like that they release their electric field like this okay now if this goes here it will not be able to produce a current okay this electric field will produce a current in this direction i need a current in this direction so in uk the same antenna you will find placed like this mm -hmm. we get the point that is called polarization you you only pass the electric field parallel to a particular orientation and we are quite capable of doing that okay we are quite capable of doing that you'll 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 learn more about it when we go into wave optics with light it is such an easy experiment there is a polarizer okay you just place it in front of that the polarizer polarizer just filters out the light and and will will only allow will only allow the electric fields to pass through the direction in which its grains are oriented okay so so okay now another very important characteristic of electromagnetic wave is that it 